Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie and welcome to amazing content. I have one of my favorite, favorite, favorite people in the world here because he really makes me laugh. So I'm going to let him introduce himself because <laughs> Nikianza's story, I have very many stories as to why I'm so excited to have you here today, George. Really, really Asante. excited. But for I'm the people honored. who don't know you, I don't know who they are and who they are on the planet. For anyone who doesn't know you, yes. speak to that camera. Hello. Then we have a conversation. Well, hello, hello. How you doing, <laughs> man? You know, my name is George Kagwe, internet entrepreneur. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be here on Pastor Angie's platform. Yeah. Never been, but I was there in the Genesis. I know. <laughs> because you were on the other side of the camera. Yes, you on the other lab. side. On yes. the other side of that camera, because it was four up, yeah? Yes, four up. So you, Richie... Beryl, all of you yes. guys used to do this yes, yes. when we started. Yes. Then everybody went their different They're ways. Different ways. And is that then how you got into comedy? Were you doing comedy even at that time? Yeah, slightly. I was doing it then. That's how actually Four Up started. Okay. I used to wake up oh, every really? morning back in 2015. So yeah. Richie and myself used to work at Kanji's uh, company. Oh, They'd come yes. together what and formed Kijiji. Uh, Kijiji. Yes. Then we had formed Aya. a different agency called Storm Creative, a digital agency. Under Kijiji Under Kijiji, or Kijiji after on Kijiji? the side. Now it became a plug. So For Kanji and, and Richie formed a, a company called Storm. Then wow. they brought me in because we were there together with a guy called Bupe, a guy called Bupe. Jege. Hiya. Um, Do you know you've taken me way, way back? Yeah. I remember Kijiji Agency and I remember you were always involved with Kina Kaji, but yes. I didn't know how. Yes. So it was an agency called Storm. Yes. So we started as event and production, then we brought digital. So okay. that's where now Richie and myself now formed a good partnership in terms of working together. Then okay. we, we chomokad, we got out mm -hmm. and then formed For Up Digital. Okay. So when we started For Up Digital, every morning him used to wake up and do his wife's project. It was called MN Project. 52 weeks, 52 songs, because she's a gospel really? musician. Yeah. So every day that was his thing. Mm -hmm. Myself, I just used to do comedic videos. Really? Yeah. How far did they go back? Because like now, all these guys, where have they been birthed from? Like some of my favorite, uh, mm. like you guy, my guy. Honestly, that guy. You guy, my guy, guy? Oh, you guy, my guy was birthed after Teddy Kivuvani Mudusi posted Imagine. a post on Facebook in 2018. Uh -huh. And he was like, uh, it was on a Friday and he was like, this is how you guy, my guys are talking right now, wanting a plan, blah, blah, blah. So you guy, my guy, eh? so you know. So, and he had written it. He had not even done a video. Okay. So I went and took that and made it a challenge. And I amazing. called it a you guy, my guy challenge. It is so amazing. So that's when I did it at he, that time. It was for Up Studios. Really? Mm. So he, the, the you guy, my guy, first of all, he annoys me at the same time. I want to see what he say. Because <laughs> every I see my guy, I start rolling my eyes. Already, I'm like, no, this guy. Yes. What is he going to tell us? There's nothing else. Plot yes. Yavashas, mm -hmm. how is helping mama, mm -hmm. talking deals, deals. a lot of, mm. yeah, but deals, talking a lot of, I'm sorry to say crap, really talking yes. a lot of nonsense yes, 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 with yes. a very big loud voice, yes. but he's amazing. So <laughs> he's part of my, my DNA is mm. uh, you guy, my guy, and mm. Vashas. Vashas always has to be Kwanza featuring. Yeah? These days Vashas. it's now a kananyuki eh? akidiani eh? like this. Huh? You're 15 wheezy like mama. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh? yeah. That guy makes me so <laughs> happy. So, I, so there's that character. Yes. Then the one that I love the most mm. is Ririan. What is it? What, what, who, who is that uh, guy first now, of all? Columbus Ohio. What is Ohio? <laughs> let, let's wheel it back. <laughs> let's the wheel it back. First, actually, the, out of all these characters, the first yeah. one was Ririan. No way. Ririan was bathed uh -uh. in Kijiji. In Kijiji in as an 20... agency. Why now? In who, which, who, which American visited 14. you and had you? In 2014, oh. <laughs> in 2014, I started doing my own videos. That's when even I started learning how to edit. Because Richie, for years, since he joined Google or YouTube, mm. he used to tell me, start a channel, start a channel, start a channel. He used to go around. He was even given funding to go start YouTube channels. Very few people were starting back then, mm. in 2011, 2012. Mm. Now, when he came and joined part of Kijiji, mm. he was like, dude, just start. He's the one even who filmed one of my first videos, which was making fun. It was a parody of making fun of our then governor, uh, Kidero, because mm. there were floods at that time. Mm. Then one day I decided, ah, let me start doing the Bushade. Uh -huh. And the I did the first guy. Bushade, and then I did the Hero Hero, a guy who's come from Columbia, Stero. Ohio. He's been there for two weeks, Ohio. but Kujaz, <laughs> and he's real, he's real, he's real Nini, uh, Shags is Duberi. But he's come now with a, a nice yeah, accent. Yeah, from Dubai. Mm. Hey, from Kiabu. Oh, you. Mm. Do you know the first from day I was like, Ohio. even me, I needed help. When Brilliant tells him, at least, spell it. What, what is Ohio? Mm. I was like, what is Ohio? And Masha Shushets. 
and I turned to Sierra. Sierra is the new one these days, you know, I'm from Sierra. That is so funny. <laughs> and it gives me, it gives me, I just laugh. I'm just so happy. It gives me content. You know, I just, I, I, at, at, at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, I just start laughing. Mm. Even before I've opened the video. Yes. Just the, the, is it the, like the front loading picture there yes, that's yes. visual? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> if it's you guy, my guy, I'm like, guy, now what now? What, what has happened? I know the say. plot. Yes. And then now really, and then the beach. I was like, oh my God. Even beach. <laughs> Beach is a problem. How, how do you have a problem with beach? With I beach. swear, George. <laughs> and then I loved it when, as I let you speak, when Pastor Goy wrote there, he really likes you. Ah, uh, I <laughs> was like, now, I feel like, yeah, really, it's you inside. like this guy. Just yeah, be inside yeah. the Columbus Ohio <laughs> guy's yeah, it's, vibes. It's part of the culture. Wow. So those were the first two. Yes. The Ridian? Ridian and the butchery. Yeah, the butchery is amazing. Yes. Because even the prop, the toothpick, it just has to be there. Entered. Just inside. Tell, what, what made you think mm. this is? Because sometimes I say, mm. you know I do, I write there. You know we could be thinking George is okay, <laughs> but, but he's not, not okay. Because George, what kind of creativity is this? You, you know, my thing is, at the end of the day, because my purpose at the end of the day, which God okay. told me, mm -hmm. was to bring sunshine to people's lives. Ah, you bring it. So when I enter rooms, people smile, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So... But for me, I wanted now to be able to take my purpose for good. And what I use is, it makes you laugh, but at the end of the day, you also think about mm. what I'm saying. Because yeah. it's about our societal norms. Mm. So if it's the butchery guy, yeah. you, this guy, is, they are the same. It's like they went to the same the school. Same school. All of to them. be butchers. Yes. Watakuzia <laughs> kanyama, oh, nataka emobina, <laughs> lazima kuwe na kamfu paka kubwa. If it was <laughs> for 200 bob, the nyama is very small. You know, like, it's the same thing all over. Um, if, if it's guys from our diaspora, the guys who, who are part of our from families, same thing. They all come back and they have, you know, they always chomoka, even they are kage koyot, you know, aterere, the koishi, has an mm, accent. Has a ka, nice ka accent from stero, mm. you know. But it helps you to kind of think, how come guys, when they go to India, they don't come back with an, with Indian, an Indian accent, accent and yes. so on. But you only come back with Stato and maybe UK accent. Because mm, right? you're supposed to be prestigious. Yeah. So you're supposed to think, you think about yourself. Yeah, so we think about society. Stop. We also embrace it at the same time. Yeah. Um, you know, and for me, that's what I really needed to bring out. Um, in terms of our society, what are the issues we have? Mm. How can I bring it to light in a comedic way? Mm. Uh, even through Mpesa Lady, for example, or Scholar, mm. Mm. was the yeah. same thing. Um, service industry. It's so annoying. Mm. But Why you go so and you're served at a restaurant yeah. and there's someone there. Yeah, eating chewing gum. Kuna maji ya mufereji na ya shupa. I love it. And so much confidence, even in the way she's going to say, and the like, attitude. Yes. It's so sad. Mm. And you know when you say that, it's because businesses have invested, or business owners have invested a lot yes. in their businesses. And here you come offering a very shoddy service, not concerned about the client. Even a know? bank teller, receptionist. Yeah, receptionist. All of them. I even like, they like at where, which receptionist is this? Yes. You know? Who is this person? Who is this who person? Does this who you? Wapi? Who and you wapi? see which bank is this? Yeah. Because of that one for banks. Yeah, I people just write. Do I don't write the... They don't like I just reposted it the other day. Really? What? Do I don't read the There comments? is one bank. Hey, that was mentioned many times. <laughs> oh, oh. We will I hope they are say. going to yes. try to revamp. Yeah, to, I hope I hope they see it. I hope they... They were tagged. Customers were tagging. Customers tagged them. Mm. That's powerful. Customers That's powerful, were tagging. George. And for me, you see, at the end of the day, I even just don't come and reply. What? The people come and have the conversations there. There were actually two banks. There's one that was higher than the other, but there are two banks, local. And they tagged them. Mm. This is the power of social media. Eh? Including TZ. Somebody tagged the bank in TZ? Yes. There's one bank that has really but trended TZ is so on my comments because of TZ. Really? In TZ, rather. That's good. So you're yeah. hitting home. Yeah, because again, that's what uh -huh. I'm saying. Like, bring up the issues. Yeah. People have discussions about them. Mm. What are the pain points? Yeah. How can we come up with solutions for mm. them? If people are paying attention, fine. Yeah. When Mpesa Lady had hit, for example, I remember I was featured on, was it Kameme or Inoro TV? Mm. Because this news, uh, this journalist went around in Tomboya, Moy Avenue, going and asking like, hey, there's this guy who's come to depict you guys like this. Mm. Is it true? Is this how you really are? Mm. And they had to answer. And, and it became a, yes. yes. There are some people who are like, hey, gine tuko nasi, who we have had a bad day, kuna siku baya. Sasa sa kuna wegine rabda hawapedi hii kazi, wanataka vitu igine. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. And they were, and they were answering. For me, the, when that happened, is when I realized, hapa kuna kitu. Mm. 
this for real, for sure, for sure, this idea came from God, which yeah, it did actually. It did. Mm -hmm. And I like it because, you know, like I'm thinking of that tempest, and it is a place where she's talking to somebody else. Imagine the customer is here, mm -hmm. and you're talking to somebody else on the phone, mm -hmm. very loudly here, mm -hmm. instead of focusing on what the customer wants. Yes. I like that, and then I like the fact that people have tagged their bank because I think what, what, what that teaches me and the lesson I draw from that is that, you know, Kenyans are very polite mm -hmm. in a way, yeah? Yes. We're passive aggressive yes, yes. also. So it gives me a way to complain without complaining mm. directly. Mm. So there's this fun person, mm. but you have said, now nah, it's not when we're complaining. George has said, who, who can relate? <laughs> then you start yeah. tagging people start tagging who you people. can relate. That's yeah. powerful. But I think you should also write to them and see whether they'll do some customer I, service. I, they need to. For sure. I hope so. I mean, collecting all these, because uh, at the end of the day, that's the purpose and the mission I have. On top of that, I remember receiving a lot of DMs from... I think the most touching one I remember we read with my wife was uh, a few individuals who wanted to take their own life. Really? Yeah. And? They wanted to take their own life. They saw the video of Scholar laughing. It lifted their spirits and mm -hmm. gave them a form of new life mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Um, many, many people were in depression, even over COVID period. And the videos helped? The videos helped them to get through depression. Wow. Um, stressful situations. Yeah. Um, I remember we did another one even that was didn't have character, but it was more of one year versus seven years of marriage, mm. showing the different aspects of communication, romance, whatever it is. Mm. And there are people who would write and be like, yeah, our marriage is now, like, it really helped me to focus on, you know, the things I need to grow in my marriage. Because mm. for sure I've neglected either my wife or my husband over time. Mm. You know, those things, at, at the end of the, for me that's the win. It's not even the followers, it's not the amount of endorsement deals you can get. For me the win is in terms of influencing and at the end of the day affecting and impacting human lives mm. and souls out there. Yeah, and I think what you, what you help us to do is to see ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's why we think it's so funny mm. because it's relatable. You see yourself You sure. know, five guys, I know, I know you guys, my guy guys, mm. I know them. I know the guy of the butchers. Yes. I know the Empesa lady. Yes. I know Ririan. Yes. I know, so it's, it's very relatable. Very. That's very amazing that you said about marriage because how long have you been married now? Uh, this year, 11 years. 11 years. Yep. Congratulations. Asante. And well done. God is yeah, good. Yeah, because it seemed it was just the other day but I remember it. <laughs> Was around, <laughs> yes, that's, yes. that's 11 years. 11 years. So it's good that you could even bring out, I guess that's what it does. The comedy gives us permission mm. to see ourselves yes. in a way that's not drastic. Yes. The, it could be drastic and it will cause me to do some change, mm -hmm. but I get to see myself yeah, in a way see, that is so... Yeah, like, we reflect wow. society at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. And that's m my gift is to be able to reflect society. So I watch a lot of people. Okay. I do a lot Are of you people, a people watcher? watching. Uh, me, yeah, yeah. Um, me, I'm an expert. Love it. Me, let me tell you, I can sit somewhere and just love watch. Love it. It's just that Kenyans who get mm. uncomfortable. Once they I, find me alone, uh, they come and say, "Are you okay?" Even yes. perfect strangers. I love Kenyans. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Do you, why are you eating alone? Yes. Do you want to come and yes. eat with us? And they have serious concerns. Mm. But me, they don't understand. I love it. Like, I love just to sit and watch people <laughs> yes. create stories. Yes. Tell myself this one, this one, that one. You know, I just love it. Kabisa, really same love thing it. for me. So that's, that's how, how get. I get to, like, in a room where I don't know many people, you'll find that I'm always quiet watching Imagine, people. So my wife is the one like who knows. You. So at times she'll just come and sit next to me. She's like, oh, you're analyzing people. Eh? Mm. Who's the most interesting in the room? In the room. You know, what and stuff doing? like that. What are they doing? Who, who's what? So we're always just analyzing people. Mm. But for me, it's always just to watch our mannerisms and so on, mm. so that I can find ways of even just impacting it in my craft. Because mm. that's the way I even learned how to be a good actor as well. Oh, really? Because before that, I was in acting. I was a thespian. You used to be at Village. I remember you at Village Musicals. Yes. Now that was Kijiji time, yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. So you had done that. That that was something that you had trained in or I, worked I, on or apprenticed in? I didn't train on it, really. Actually, I started seriously in 205. I joined a church called International Christian Center. ICC. Um, ICC, uh, Nairobi West. Okay. That's why even I got born again in 2005. Okay. June of 2005. That's where I got born again. Mm -hmm. So, but before that, I was not born again. But it was the one church where you could join ministry, drama ministry, without being born again. Really? Come as you are. Yeah. That was a good thing. So, Rev Tony so Kiyama. Point come in. Yes. So, Rev Tony Kiyama set that up well for just come as you are into the drama ministry, and it was the only ministry you could do that. So, I joined that because I loved acting. First time I ever acted, I was in class two, hmm. class three. We were in a school in Mombasa, and I was a main character. I was a tiger. So I was in a short and mm. painted all over my body. 
Um, and I remember, I always remember that day because parents came to my parents from parents of other kids came to my parents and they were like, hey, your, toy, your child is gifted really? in terms of that pro kind of production wow. that was put Standard up there. Two. He's fantastic in what wow. he's doing. Wow. I could see, and I know my mom, mm. my mom has always found a way of, she knew the gifts that I had, but my dad came from a very different background. Of course. Him, he came from poorest of poor. Yeah. And he made it through academics. So he was like, uh -uh. Oh, you are good acting. Acting, acting does not pay bills. Yes. He's going <laughs> to be an accountant people? just like <laughs> me. <laughs> but it does pay the bills. Yeah. Now today, it, it does. Because it's it a does. different world, isn't yeah. it? And I think that's why sometimes they say as leaders, you're not preparing your children for your world. Mm. You're preparing them for their, their world, world. Whatever their exactly. world will be. Powerful. So there was a digital content yes. age that was going that to was come. Coming. That accepts your your craft yes and that you can make money that from, you can make money which from amazing which yeah which which oh, but had to start from somewhere yeah and that's by the time i got into icc i still had a passion for theater so i got into ministry drama ministry we used to put up musicals uh, they are now at church at church uh, that's where i learned most of the craft that i have from watching people from being given titbits here and there from going back and trying to find the material that I can keep on watching. I used to look like a mad person in the bathroom or in, in my room because I used to act different things, mimic some people. You know, I had to do every single, I think I used to do like one to two hours. I remember my parents used to ask me like, what are you doing in your room? Or why are you staying so much in a bathroom? Like, honestly speaking. But that's how I just learned the craft. The craft. Yeah, of, you know, how do you portray someone who's angry? How do you mm. portray? someone who's, you know, um, outrageously angry. I try it out, I go watch a movie. I'm like, yeah, let me try to be Denzel Washington in this movie and so on. So that's how I just started learning the craft. Okay. So I was in an incubation. God put me in an incubation in that church for, from 2005 to 2009. Wow, thank you. well done, ICC. Yeah. 2005 to 2009. To 2009. Yeah, I was just there, just learning the craft, learning the craft. In, I got born again, I joined the worship team because I have a gift in music as well. Um, and that's how I served in, in ICC <coughs> until 2009. So 2009, God kicks me out of church, literally. He kicked me out of that How church. God kick you out of church? So really? I used to, he had already told me t it was time to leave. Okay. Because there was a huge transition that happened in ICC at that time. Mm. Uh, in youth church, Rev. Tony Kiyama left the church, uh, went to set up ROG. At the same time also leadership in ICC as well had changed from the previous pastor Chip Block, now it was Rev. Uh, Bishop Kitoto. Mm. And so at that time I could feel there was a shift and a change, but I was being, I was not agnostic to it. I was trying to fight that shift and a change. And I could see God wanted to take me somewhere else, but I was scared at the same time. So, mm -hmm. so me, I can't go more, I stayed. But I remember every time I used to go and minister or be in ministry. At church. In church, I would be tired. Like, I mean, the spiritual battles I've had, eh? okay. I felt like it, I had done it in my own strength. Right? Which is what it was about. Which is, was he taking you to another church eh? or was he taking you to another ministry? What, where was he, he just told me to leave, to leave and whatever it will lead me to. So okay. at that time, I had started hearing about Mavuno. Okay. And all forms of stories about Mavuno. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had perceptions about Mavuno. So my mm. pal, a boy who I grew up with in the same hood, we used to go to ICC together, came and he was like, hey, me, I started attending Mavuno. You should come and try it. So I went and tried it. I loved it. I pondered the vibe. Mm. I pondered what was happening. But I was like, hey, God, me, if I come and join this church, me, I'll be a backbencher. Mamboya right. ministry. Let me just let it go. Because again, I'm having a fight with God. So I'm in my feelings. So at this point, I'm in my feelings. So I'm like, ah, me. But why are you angry with God? Let he me... didn't tell you not to continue with your gifts. But I was just too comfortable. Yeah, comfort is a I was bad too thing. comfortable. Comfort I was scared about where thing. I'm going. I didn't know where yeah. I'm headed and so on. I just finished uni the previous year in 08. I didn't know about my career. So there were too many changes happening in my life. And I just needed to stop and it to stop and for me just to figure out what was happening. Ah, mongo ni nani. So I joined Mavuno-ish by being a backbencher. One day, another chick pal comes and is like, Jerry comes and she's like, hey, I'm going for auditions for something called Village Musicals, Village Easter. So you come and you audition and I'm like, mm -mm. me, I have a deal with God. Eh? I'm a backbencher. Back backbencher. Mm -hmm. 
uh, she's like, Sawa, no problem, but you come and take me. Because well me, I've no Jerry. one. Well done, Jerry. Come and take me. Good one. <laughs> so we bounce. <laughs> me going here. I find guys. I find Kinaya Fesi. I see guys who are auditioning yeah, and so all, on. All that crowd, I remember. So I was uko back sitting. Then uh, one guy had seen me. A guy called Njora. El Safa Njora. I remember Njora. Uh, uh, used to have a ministry called Eve of Poetry at St. Mm -hmm. Andrews. Yes, I think so. And so he had invited me so many times when I was in ICC because we had a music group, uh, an, an artist called Nasara, who's a rapper and a beatboxer, and myself, we had formed our own group. Mm -hmm. And so he used to invite us to go and sing mm -hmm. and, and minister there. So he pointed me out and he was like, ah, that guy is a good actor and a good singer. So now you have 20 guys like, ah, who, what, ah, eh, ah, see. You bana, go audition bana, ah, just go audition Joji bana, it's like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so me, I went, I auditioned. I'm sure you brought the house down. I auditioned, I thought, in my mind, I was like, ah, I was not prepared, so I don't really think I made it. When they made the announcements, I was the lead actor. You see? In the village musicals. Now, that same day I auditioned, because after auditioning, now I ran away. Because now I was like, ah, this guy is mazi as mazi. She had me, but let me take a walk now and just have a prayer walk with God. So as I'm getting out of the greenhouse area, you remember how Mavuno was? Then I went to the main church. Who is Chomoka in from the dome? Kanji. Kanji. And this time, we've not really clicked with Kanji. But when we were launching ICC Mara Campus, Kanji had come to sing. And I was also singing with the group. So he, and he walked in right when we were doing our song. So he sees me and he's like, and we had seen each other in Saudi because I lived in Saudi and that's where Kijiji was. And we used to always wave. He's like, hey, we need to talk. You have a good voice, Dini. So he sees me, he's like, ah, bro, what are you doing here? I'm like, hey, me, I brought someone to audition, but I've just come from auditioning village musicals for acting. Ah, come. He engears the dome. Joere was on the keys. He's like, where Joe? He's auditioning eh, for village musicals, but also for the worship team. In one Saturday, in a, the one Saturday I didn't want to come. <laughs> the one Saturday you are backbencher. The one you Saturday actor, was a backbencher. You are a worshiper inside with two feet. So I entered. And the rest is history. I auditioned. The rest was history. My goodness. We did the village musicals. It aired on TV. Mm -hmm. When we were doing the village musicals, Yafesi and his wife Joyce approached me and they were like, "Yo, we have this great idea for a show, a sitcom. We want to do a pilot and sell it. We won't pay you for the pilot, but trust me, it's a good show." Um, and we'd like you to be one of the lead actors. And that show was called Briefcase Inc. I remember. So we went and did the pilot free of charge, Kila Kitu, a year after. That was 2010. A year after it was, uh, KTN commissioned it. Wow. And we did four seasons of Briefcase oh, Inc. Briefcase Inc. Wow. And yeah, the rest was history. After that, I did a few movies for Maisha Magic. Mm. Um, but I really didn't like the experience. Because I came to find out later we were underpaid, especially for the movies. Mm. Briefcase Inc. we were paid well um, for even the amount of money that I know Kinaya Fesi were being given. But in the film, film industry, things were not so, in terms of people are not too honest with the whole process. And actors are always in the pecking, the bottom of, of the, the pecking, pecking order, order in terms of the whole. So there's production crew or the producers crew, then the actors. And it always felt that way. And so I never loved it. And so the minute I got an opportunity to just do my own stuff on social media and mm. digital, mm. I left that industry. Because that became behind. the platform, yeah? yeah? So it's not actually leaving the industry. No. It's just a different platform. It's just the platform that, that you're I left. doing it. And then you do your own thing and mm. get your own thing going. And get my own thing wow. going. The other thing I was going to ask you today, what's next? What do you think is next for you? For me, I think it's now more of trying to build other platforms and build other people as well. Mm. Uh, I've gotten to the place where now I just don't want to be the one front yeah. facing, yeah. but to be able to be making moves on the back end. Mm. Um, there are platforms and channels we've started with my wife, for example, mm. but we've not really launched them huge, but mm. we're just amassing like content so that we can do it. Okay. We're in kids content, we're in Christian content. Um, Good. 
we we want to do even content that is evergreen and will surpass like generations to come um, so it's not just us in the front line mm. my daughter wants to make her own content so i, I need her. to so things jumping into your yeah, yeah, yeah. things i'm like yeah she wants she, to make her uh, own content she's she's me kabisa that kabisa. one first born second born we are the one and only you have one child just one i thought i thought you had two no just one just one mm. so she's you maybe kabisa. the lord has maybe spoken the lord to has you spoken to you are you the lord has spoken let's yes. see so she's really into this as well. Yes, she's wow. yeah, for a long time she really loved it, and I loved it because she because we used to do a lot of the stuff at home, especially after shutting down for up now mm. it's just home office. So she was seeing a lot of the stuff that I was doing now. Mm. I got to bond with my daughter because when we did for up for the four years, I never I never knew my daughter. My daughter never knew me. I used to leave early in the morning, come back, come back at two a.m. Um, but now when I was at home, when we shut it down and I was at home, I really got to know who my daughter is. That's so cool. And we started making content, involving her in the process. Mm. When I go for interviews, I tell her to come with me. Mm. Yeah. So that she can see what's happening behind the scenes. That's so good. At the very end of the day. Wow, that's so good. Yeah. So for me, it's been, it's been trying to have this kind of side of, am I done yet? No I don't way. really think so. But no I think way. I can have influence in many ways. Even in mm. where I work now, Grand Acres, for example, mm. it's finding ways on how you can use media, entertainment, to harness the power of entertainment to do good things because there are major things we want to be able to launch yeah, this year. I saw you there. I haven't actually clicked on the Grand Acres one because yeah. that's Goshen. That's solo. Yes, Goshen. Wow. So how do you, you do sell land? What do you do? I'm not clicked on any. I should go and do it. But what's the gist with the Grand Acres? So at Grand Acres right now, I'm leading the marketing front. Okay. So we're coming up with uh, various marketing efforts to see how we can sell land. We, we, we are about to have some great, let me call them great products into the market mm. um, in various parts of the country mm. from Nanyuki sides down to Kajiado. Mm. So what now we want to do is to be able to find new ways on how we can be able to reach our market all over the world because mm. we've we, we are, yeah. we're getting to see that yeah um, the market is all over the world yeah. diaspora is a lot diaspora there's is a, a lot of being called which i thought it was really good because there's you guys there's optim and the others mm -hmm. where people can buy land and buy developments and mm. it's safe yeah yeah so you guys have really produced a good I've solution produced yeah for sure for and people. and for me i think the thing i realized is my gift what my god the gift god has given me mm is to be able to know how to storytell, is to be able to know how to communicate all in one. Mm. And so at the end of the day, I've found that God has now directed me to three pillars. Mm -hmm. Education, Good. Mm -hmm. um, food security, and our settlement. Wow. Things that involve his people to the core. Amen. Um, I've been in EdTech. I, I worked for two EdTech companies in the past from 2021 to 2022. Um, at the same time, I was working for an ag tech company based in Washington as well on, as a part-time and consultative basis. Wow. Until now, God uh, is another story of how I ended up in Grand Acres, but until God now sent me to Grand Acres as well, because mm. um, it's about settling people. It's about giving mm. people dignified and decent places mm. to settle, not mm. just Kenyans, but also foreigners as well, mm. with all focus happening in Africa, setting up of businesses, you name it. People need land. You know, at the end of the day, people need food and we need That's to true. keep on learning, lifelong learning. Mm. So for me, those are the avenues I'm seeing being sent towards, mm. uh, despite the fact that I'll still continue doing my thing. Uh, I still want to raise people who will continue doing mm. what I do. Mm. If that is my daughter, fine. If that is someone else, you know, God has made me meet different people mm. all over the world because of this gift. Yeah, so it's, it's exciting just to see. Mm. Yeah. I think it is, and I was just thinking, also for you, I think making it relatable, making it fun, mm -hmm. which is all the whole story, making it relatable and fun is what now really draws me. Mm. And then now as a Kenyan, and in, I guess in different scenarios, maybe God will help you do different things, but I relate. Yes. It so relates, I laugh at myself, I go away thinking, like now what was that about? What's wrong mm. with George? Eh? <laughs> but you st you've stirred something up in me, yeah. the next time I meet somebody, you know, I, I, it's, it's I've, I've learned mm. in that short moment that I've laughed and relaxed and, you know, made my, I've really felt good about myself because of how hard I have laughed and how I have tried to, like, even criticize the video, mm. like, now what's wrong with this guy, you know? I've learned something and I've taken a <laughs> yes, takeaway yes, from yes, it, so that's yes. really amazing. Yes. And I'm glad that there's a next, that yes. it's been, 
11 years of marriage, and how old your, your daughter is, how eight. all that, eight. Mm. Now the, the, the church, I love the church angle, mm. letting people come into ministry, mm. even if they're not born again, because yes. that's where now they come and find God. Yep. That is so powerful. Yep. And even that shift that God was moving, you was just moving into your next. Mm. And you needed that. Where are you going to meet Kanji, Yo. Kijiji? Um, Richie, all the, that was a birthday that place. That elevation. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I now, now I can confidently say I was in incubation for those four to, years. For those four years. Five years. 2004 to 2009. Two, yeah, 2005 to 2009. Yes. yes. That was in, I knew. Now I can say confidently it was incubation because once I moved to Mavuno, the catapulting that happened. Yes. Because behind the, the scenes, opened. that's just the acting scene. Eh? Yeah. Do you know I ended up working at Kenya Airways? No. Who so. Doing at Kenya Airways. <laughs> So, finish this video. No, for real. Kenya I was, Airways. I was, ah. So, because I finished cleared Kampona, you have to do internship. I applied for an internship in KQ. Mm. I, did, I studied IT. But I've never picked IT. my degree. I know, I've never Who even picked, picked the degree. And you owe Jerry lunch, in case I forget. Uh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. okay. Akosawa. Atali Akosawa. introduced to my wife. Eh. Wow. Wait, Je this Je mm. What? Mm. Jerry introduced you to your if wife? If I told you the story of how I met my wife. Yeah. Hey, we'll bring you Hallelujah. back to tell us. Where are you in IT in KQ? I don't understand. So I studied IT. My dad one day came after I cleared Where the form four. Dad? Came with a BCom Nini application form and IT. Choose one. <laughs> now me and Hesabos, I'm not bad in Hesabos, but I hate it. Yeah. So with accounts and everything, I was like BCom Z. I chose IT. IT. So I did IT. Then I have to go for internship mm -hmm. so that I can graduate. So I go for internship at KQ. God had other plans. So I go to IT department, I am assigned a manager. This guy has no job for me. But I keep pestering him for almost two weeks. Wait, I need work. I can't just come to Kuja to play solitaire on the computer and read a newspaper. Like, that doesn't happen. So he got to a point he got, he got tired of me. He's like, sir, you come. One Monday morning, he's like, come. Introduced me to a lady in HR who was trying to automate her whole, the whole system for KQ. From moving from manual files, every employee had a manual file. But now they wanted to move it to a um, system, basically on the computer. So they bought this Oracle Enterprise Resource Planning. Those are details. So now he assigns me to be a data entry person to a lady. Her lady was Winrose Mwangi. Fantastic lady. So she takes me under her wings. She put me in data entry. I did data entry for three months. But in that interaction, I used to always go and probably have conversations with her. She asked me to help her with her computer and so on. So she really liked me. So she takes me, she tells me, I'll add you internship for another three months. I'm like, Sawa, what am I doing? Go learn this system. I'm like, okay, three months I learned the ERP system. Then she came and she's like, do you learn it? Teach me. Sawa, you're good. I'm adding you another three months. Hiya. She added me another. So I did nine months nine internship. Nine months internship. Yeah. In the, in the course of that, I'm meeting various people. I even I remember then meeting the then CEO, Titus Naikuni. I met, I met the director of HR, Paul Kasimu, who's now at Safaricom. Uh, so I met various people and I had great interactions. So until one day she came and she's like, now I want to give you a contract. We are rolling this thing out in our outstations in all over the world and I want you to go and train those outstations. At that time I was 23, 24. This 09. So I was like, where sour? Me, I'm game. She gave me a contract. She went, it was because I had interacted with the director, Paul Katsimu. He knew who I was. He knew my story. Um, he had given me lifts a few times in his Mercedes Benz. Other interns used to look at me like, hey, how did this guy get there? Um, and that's how I got my first job ever. My first place to travel was Zimbabwe Harare. Wow. Five star hotel. Nambi wa chukua business class ticket on the company. Living it up. Living it up. So that's how I got my first job. So I went to various, I went to Harare, Tanzania. I remember I went to Kigali. I went to Ghana, South Africa. I went to countries. I was assigned countries in Africa. Um, I was about to go to Asia, but my contract ended. And as it was ending, when in TZ, which was my last location, I met a gentleman who, when I was an intern, they had come as PwC to sell a certain system. And he asked me what I was doing, and he was like a training. And this system, they had sold it now to a different company, and so he was the Africa partner. And he was like, yeah, I'm looking for trainers. And he was a Mavunite, actually. Can you imagine? His name was David Wagasha. 
Now, because he's seen me in Mavuno, yeah. and then he had met I me before. Now. So he was like, hey, come work mm. for me. Did me for me interview, so I hopped on. Um, and so I used to do this job of flying out, going training people. I used to say that's my side gig. Then I come back and act as my full gig. Amazing. Until my dad passed away of cancer. I remember your dad passing away. I remember it was a very sad time for Yeah. You. And his passing away made me focus more on my, on my purpose. Like, what am I here? Am I here just to get into the rat race and continue? Or am I here to make impact um, on God's people? Be impacted on as well as I do that. Mm. So that's when I decided to focus 100 on my gifts. Um, I left. I left that kind of employment. Mm. It was high flying. It was good. Good chums. Mm. Uh, flying up and down. It was a good image to have. But I focused now wholly on being an actor. I tried being an actor in 2012. For nine months, I was the brokest I've ever been in my life. Way, 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 way. Acting, mm. sika zira isi. Depending on productions. Yeah. Yeah, so, but then in 2012, later on, September, that's when I joined Kijiji. And I'm grateful because I think what's happening as I bring it to a close is that education has come back, as yeah. you said about education settlement and yeah. the other one was? And, uh, and uh, food and, and food. security. Yeah. Food so security. education is coming back. It looks like it was important there. Mm. So I'm grateful for that. But yeah, so I'm really grateful. Thank you for inspiring us. You really inspire us. You really gave Thanks. me food for thought. Mm. Um, you get me to give you feedback because sometimes I'm like, this guy, maybe he's not okay and we don't know he's not okay. <laughs> so I must always write and say, George, are you okay? Yes. Is it okay? And I really, when you see me, I put my two laughing emojis there. Hey, I've mm. checked. Mm. I've checked a good one. Mm. And, I'm, and so I'm really grateful for the different faces yeah. and I'm looking forward to what's next. Thank you. Yeah, so thank God you so bless much. and thank you for coming. God George. bless you too. I'm honored. Hey, I am honored when you called, well. I was like, I have to run. Hey, Apostle so Angie grateful. has called me, so I have to come. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm grateful. Thank you for Thank you. keeping us, keeping us laughing and keeping us seeing ourselves. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah and, and big up to you as well, uh, Pastor you. Angie. Like, Thank you so much. We started when? It's been seven years. You're seven the one years minus 23, minus yeah, seven. Yeah, you're one of the few people who I know who's been consistent in this game. But I'm telling you, consistency is everything. It's in everything, life, yes. In life, you've got to do everything consistently. Yes. I, I know many times, not only for just Angie, but in the different expressions of what I do, mm. early on, there'd be like points of, ah, let's just stop this, yeah? yeah. A point set for giving up. But I'm always amazed that I'd always have this insider knowledge that I can't. Mm. It doesn't matter what happens. Yeah. i got to keep going. Yeah. And so I'm really grateful that God has given me that gift mm. of being consistent. Of being consistent. Yeah. Even just Angie there so many times, I'm like, that's it, I'm done. You're, it's yes. a wrap, let's go do something else. Yes. But you keep going. Or you hear another story of yes. how somebody has been impacted, yes. how they have been tattered, like, okay, let's keep going, yes. let's keep doing it. Exactly. So thank you so much. And awesome. thank you for being also part of this journey. Humbled. Right. I'm humbled. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye. <laughs>